Hello, good day. Welcome to Revit tutorial from Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to touch a lot of things, a lot of developments, maybe concluding part aspect of it. Then, we want you to watch this video from the end to the end, especially if you have never watched the beginning series that we have been doing. So, you go to the playlist Revit. Uh, tutorial from beginner to pro you will get all the details there and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe so that you continue watching the daily basics of video that we are bringing to your doorstep on daily basis so kindly watch because we are going to create some fantastic stuff for you now what we need to do first is that we want to create a fence a, something like a, a certain fence that have a Com com composition design here so what we do here is that we start by going to foundation from the foundation I want to create components and the component I will create model in place so in this one I want to use case work to so click on it and I call it a fencing so when I call it that, okay. At this stage, I want to use extrusion. So the first I need to do is to create my uh, column fence uh, gate column. So I do that here. So you look at it. The distance that it be double volume of uh, what I said four fifty. Click by four fifty. Good. So now you, you bring it close to this point. Good. So you do the same thing by copy this particular one. At this point, now you copy it to this stage. Move it, let it be aligned to. So let it be aligned to the wall, especially. So as you done that now, you click finish so that you can check it from what you where you are working on it. So go to 3D. At the 3D now you drag it up. So when you drag it up, it gives you the total extrusion end. So if you are okay with that, leave it. So I'm still going to reduce this fence because I don't want the height to be too big, to be too tall. Not going to be the same thing with this. So now, as I have done that one, I click finished. As I have done with click finish, so I select the the front, especially the front uh, wall. I will reduce the height to something like 1,800. Click like that, so I've using it. So the height is now reduced. What I need to do is to copy all this fence, edit in place. I want to have different, uh, a different uh, material for the wall, for the, for the color. So I select that, say duplicate the material, then the drag it to graphics and say use graphic appearance. So this particular one, to go to appearance library. So I want to go to wall paint. In the wall paint, I just want to look for something that's going to be not too bad to look at. What's at a certain, have some certain curious effects with that. So let me use this cafe color. Good. So. It's not updated. This is now updated. So click OK. So it's done. So now I click here and see edit extrusion. Go to your foundation. From there, start copying this. Copy. Copy. 
copy it on several occasions so that you'll be able to have it multiple. At this junction, you need to just have it at this edge. So you copy on the middle and drop it there. Good. So this one too, you can do the same thing by just say mirror. Good. So you extend this one. Let it be extended to a little bit backward. Okay. So when you click finish, you look at it in 3D. And then you are satisfied. Okay. I think I'm okay with a little bit with this. Now I want to create a what is it called? A gate design for this particular one. So you try to watch to the end, especially if you are a newcomer, subscribe to the channel. So for us to continue to bring more of this video to you. So as I want to do now is that you go to your south elevation. At the south elevation, if you are not seeing the if you are not seeing uh, the fence, it does not matter. You can click finish, then you go back to the foundation. All what is missing is the elevation marker. So select the elevation and drag it backward so go back to the south and you definitely find it that it has been oriented and so let it load the moment it load of this uh, the the shadow at the same time remove this from so so the dragging will not will be minimal depending the time you are going to finish with the design so click on your crop revealing then drag it a bit so that you'll be able to see everything you are doing here and at this junction what i want to do is to create the gate so what am i going to use to create the gate so i'm going to use a situation to do whatsoever i want to do i just want to create a simple pattern gate and something that we have from meaningful effect on it so at this stage what i need to do what i need to do is to click on architecture at the architecture i want to create a component from the component i want to model it in place i always love casement so follow my idea that's what you want so that i like to say git at this place i click ok at this junction i say great so what am I going to do here is to use extrusion. It will ask me, am I using a plane? Say OK. So you look for where the plane reference can be. So I'm using this because it has already selected the four, uh, four sides. That is the plane reference of it. So I'm using that fence as my place reference. So what I do here is that I do the triangle from this end to this end. So as I have done that, it's not over yet. So what I do is that I adjust this, bring it up. So as you do that, mirror this, good. So at this junction, I want to have certain pattern that suits what I want to do. So here now, you drag this backward by saying move. So, what you need to do, trim it. It is not a movable gate. It's just a graphic gate that's going to stay in on, on, a, on a spot. So, it's not necessary that we should have the whole integrity being put in place. So, since it's not that we are doing the animation effect of it, all you just need that is to secure a position where the gate will be symbolized that okay this is the entrance to the building so as we've done with this pattern say click don't click okay yet something is not is not right so i want it to be aligned good so as i've done this one 
so what I need to do is to mirror this mirror take it for somewhere take it from somewhere here and then now you align everything here or you move you move them from here now drop them here so here now you click here and let everything be aligned and so you extend it to that point so you have it in that manner so you click finish as you click finish now you reduce the extrusion to this let's say 50 so when you go to 3d you will see what you are actually been doing this is it so from here foundation so you move this and you say all constraint and just join them so when you move it here if it's the joint is not you click on this joint so let it move so you can use your hollow key to adjust it since you have been the join the member from it so you are still having it in that manner so go back to your UAD okay let's do something here use extrusion to create the pool for which it will be by 40 especially this uh, pedestrian side so you click here say okay click finished click finished go to start elevation so extend this upward good so as you've done that you will change the color of this but not now so i want us to change do all the graphics work and whatsoever before we now start to change the materials indicate so i good i want to do something like creating certain extrusion and while i'm going to do that is that i'm going to go to this point try it as much as possible to continue watching this because it's going to be of a great benefit to you use extrusion here now at this point now you use you do so let me use radius of 25 so that will not be too big as I that I go back to south elevation so I extend this upward so I do that by rotating this particular at the 90 degree so so I move this to this point so some done that adjust it so I want to repeat this same thing by copying it one below and another below it so I'm going to have three layer of this pattern have three layer of this pattern so now I'm going to reduce the the length so that I don't want them to be equal so I'm going to do the same thing here as well so if I find it here like that so I copy I will copy this or let me leave it I still want to do add to this uh, particular uh, uh, drawing so create click on create click uh, reforming so pick the same references okay at this point you do axis to axis here good so from there you draw boundary around this axis i want to do boundary around this axis by clicking to click here like this say okay click finish okay that is the end but it's small for me let me increase it a bit and just it delete first so now click here ok 
okay something like that this one will be okay so i just i just say click finish mm, it's too big this is not what i want i did it again so delete this take this up Take it up a bit to be done a bit so do it here like this you follow the same app method so here you click on it good i got the ball i want so at this point now you take this particular ball go to your site plan i mean foundation or this particular okay so now you adjust this by bringing it to the middle of what you have created so now you copy this or go to south elevation back then you now copy from here so you'll be able to place them at the right point good you snap them to that point so here now you can now mirror it may not be at the middle or center whatsoever you have done so but just mirror them and have them as this so adjust them to have some certain end with it so do the same thing here and just do the same thing here by moving backward and just so as you've done that now select this and say copy good so you have it in place so now what you do is to select this and change the material click on material duplicate it and go and go to appearance i mean appearance and choose i want to use aluminium chrome polish so select I say okay that's okay check this material as well click use something black duplicate so go to aluminium and that's black i don't want that so something like go to metallic paints or metals and the metal aluminium other dies it will be too okay go to black oxide let me use this so i just want to adjust a little bit of darkness let it be a little bit bright it's okay so at that point when you go to your 3d look at them is that exactly what you want at least they make a lot of meaning so you use the material for this particular one so you use the material let it black as well good so that is the fence for this now i want to create a defensive possibility for this aspect so now we go, go back to what you do or you copy this by going to south elevation and say copy dots of their references so you use their the same reference to it so edit so here you say edit constitution first play or so now you start doing them one after the other you want to work on it like this so a little bit within the fence so here is what to do now you start with you start drawing your pattern the way you know that it suits you so like my here i want to do a certain pattern here remember i'm in extrusion so as i have whatsoever obligated ideas to do so here i have another one i want to create from the middle good so i want to create another one in the middle then i create the last one from the middle so what i do here is that i want to I only want to create some certain hmm, from here to 
and have it from here connect with this so i'll set this to 120 is too much for what i need to create here is just like 30 30 mm i just want to offset it a bit offset this one a bit offset this one too and offset this as i've done that i will break this circle into segments so now begin to align them and join i think i did the same thing here yes i have to do that so break them to segments and join do the same thing here break them Click them to so click that, that. Yes, and join the elements. And join it. And join. And join. And join. Break this as well. So to do a detailed job is a little bit tedious, taking much time. Only just have to have patience so that your work will be will come out clearer and essentially neat. So as you have done this one, all you need to do is to copy this and mirror it. You can copy into three places, but okay, let's just use copy like from here. So I want to look for the middle point. Mm -hmm. Let me put it here. And the same time, I want to mirror this. Yeah, that we have something of equal distance in nature. So I mirror this good so as i've done it here now what i need to do is to click finish and see what pattern it gives to me when you go to your 3d can you see the pattern you're having here so you reduce this to something smaller like 10 of let's say 10 so that look flat okay so as you have it that way, it's a bit recognized. So now you can repeat, copy these parts and just let them have some clear view from this aspect. So click on this and say go to your click on select, just select. Okay, let me select this small one. I think it will be more advisable to do that. Copy. So, put them in between here. You put them in between here. So, you have done like that. Select and say mirror. So, one thing I want you to understand about design is that as you are doing it, idea will flow to you. The best designer in the world are those who continue working and practicing and they decide to flow with whatsoever that comes their way. So you don't need a pattern to follow and say this is the way. So you can decide to sketch it somewhere and follow through. But the best is that you do according to the way the inspiration comes to you. So this is the fencing pattern in which I have done here. In which are at least a little bit a little bit something related to what I'm creating. So here I go to my level one and we adjust this close to my sh sheet of the first sheet. So that will be so but from here now I start copying from one pattern from one point to another copy so you copy it here paste it here 
paste it here and if you paste it here so we want you paste it here you need to edit it so that you'll be able to come to the middle of because it's a special design as we have it here now so the one i did here to the mirror those things are missing so you copy them as well in here put them here put them here spin time put them there so you may wonder you are not seeing it it does not matter what is necessary that is being put in the place that you need it you need them to be so when you go to your 3d you have your gate design in place so what you just need to adjust this particular one see edit visibility edit it so here you go to your south elevation at this junction you just need to reduce this delete this aspect then draw this good so you trim it so you do that so you go back to 3d whether it forms the same way you want it to form okay it's the line so what you need there is that you delete this particular one i don't need them again i only need a single single side of this particular so i adjust this i've been doing to me of the two so that's okay and click print so as you've done that you now go to your 3d and go and see what you've done so this is the 3d segment of what i've done this is the gate house i have created and this is how it work uh -huh. as a great house i mean fencing that i've created i did not do any great house here so i want to do some little landscaping in with in between so i will i do that i select this particular one and say go to foundation say editing place in editing place i will adjust this one by saying edit so here i will use this select 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 and then select like and like that so here now use offset to take a distance a measurable distance like okay let's say 750 so i will do that by copying so I do this so i trim up everything trim, it, trim them up so thanks for watching don't feel bored it's a design is always have its own effects so that's why i do most of the videos in a little breakdown so that it be easy for people to understand but this particular one, i want to do it once and for and get it done so you click finished so something is missing say continue at this junction there, there is color there is okay this particular one so click finish here something is still here it is not okay this one check them all out okay so click finish like that so at this point now you select the second one which is grass and you say extrusion so you do the same way you have done it here by selecting the line and create everything around this good so here you use offset as well but instead of using that you, use, you just use 600 have done that beautiful so you do that around and touch every aspect that you know that is needed to be touched so here now you just do the, the sketch of this aspect the sketch for this aspect 
so you do this and say okay 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 now for next thing click on this for next thing is that you can extend this particular thing particular make them good allow them to be extended to the external aspects you do the same thing here too I like to go to external aspect so you can align them okay so you follow the same thing with this grass allow them to come out allow them to come out allow them to come out so align it the way you do to this particular one so when you look at it from 3d you're going to see that okay, you have designed a, defined a landscape of this aspect so go back to your foundation extend this one a bit outside as well good so you may not allow it to cross because that's this particular side and this side will be someone plot so you don't encroach in people's but because of that is for your front so you do that for that for that aspect so now as you have done that go to your foundation and you still click on this and bring some of component that you know that okay click on save some of the component that you know that is is suitable to what you are doing so if you have a street like street lights you can bring it here so like this or have it here like this And that is it so you put another one there so when you go to your 3d you should be seen it's just be updating yourself for the kind of design you are doing can you see so i think this i like this what i'm seeing here now so you can go back again to foundation and go to click on this component and say enter search for something like this particular command apple I did it by clicking this and say duplicate so that it will retain the original one and work for what you want to do so I'm going to do this side to something like uh, like 1800 or 1900 I don't want the tree to be more taller than what I can be so here I will go there and select Let's say color. I just want to select something that will suit my. Let's say scrub. No, I don't want this. I want tropical tree. Okay. Yes, and I need a cobalt layer. Cobalt layer. Let us use this cobalt layer. Okay. Click. So at this junction, I just want to place this side of the good. Let them occupy space like this. So you can have them inside as well. Depends. So it's beautiful to have a green in the in your compound something like that help the ecosystem and allow a good sign of living so like that you have it and you go to your 3d and see what you have created so if it's okay by you you can increase this or change this if you don't want this kind of uh, tree so if you want it, you can increase the height. So let's say we increase the height to something like 2,500. Let me see how big it will be. I think they've increased and they are more bit taller. So I don't, maybe I will change this. You can decide to change the appearance. I think if you check some of our entourage design with it for changing the entourage of your build of uh, things like this so if you like this pattern you can leave it but I don't like this I will either believe and choose the former one that I did so 
click here and still use this Coban. I prefer this more than or oh, travel pan. I don't like that. So it doesn't look well for me. But you, you can test a lot. As a refit has already been precisely given them to you. So you test your ability and your competence in all those things. Now, as you've done this one, this is beautiful. But one thing I want to do is that I want to create a, a roadway, something that will look like a road in the front of that house. And now what I do it is that I'm going to follow the same pattern in which I have used to create the floor, the architectural floor. So here, I want to just use this uh, line. So now you click here, draw line. I'm not going to do it to the very end, as I just want to cut it halfway and show the graphics that okay, this is the road, and this is where it stopped. So that's what I'm trying to create here. So mirror this. So you do the line. By putting it here. So try as much as possible. Watch this to the end. To do detailing, as I've said before, it takes time. It takes a lot of patience. And the beauty of it is that your work comes out with it. Because the more you work, the more you are close to the beauty so you will see that as much you are developing these sites it's be adding more beauty to the design we are doing so that is how it works so continue watching especially subscribe to our channel if you are new here do not forget to subscribe to so follow us to so continue to bring the best for you so as you have that so this is what you've done it is the road you can change the pattern or you extend it to whatsoever you want to do it in the next in the nearest future so for now this is what you have created and at this point you can bring your car if you have another pattern of car that you want to bring into beer so you can search that search, search if you have if you don't have you can look for how you download cars and bring them into the space. So I'll have my messages bins which I've been using. So just bring them by rotates. I bring one at the side. You can imagine that the road is not wide enough. It does not matter. So what we do is that you maybe later edit this. Mm -hmm. You click this as well. Press escape after the the building after the uh, press escape and let it disappear. Edit this boundary. Select this. And make sure you widen it. So the road is big a bit now, unlike before. So now go to your 3D and see what you have done. So this is the beauty of everything we have created here today, and that's why I've worked on the sites and the same time working the defensing development so you follow the three days of what we have done and that will help you a lot by bringing so much to your assistance we have done this for now we will continue to do more but before we go let me quickly do the i want to do coping on this fence because i want to choose some certain pattern so let's go to your uh, South elevation, click this and say edit. At this edit, I want to come to foundation. At the foundation level, I want to create sweep. At this sweep, I want to use sketch part. So from here now, I want to draw my. The reason why we know how to save this is that I delete it. I want to. 
I want to draw the pattern from the equation, so I don't like that because this should be my reference point. So I don't want it to be at the side. So now click on this and say edit. Go to start elevation and see what you have done here. So what I want to do is to create something that will last me for what I want to do with it. Sorry. From here. Good. So click like this. So here I want to do so like this pattern now. So yeah, you break them, break them. And same time you work on them by trimming trim everything to suit you the beauty of architecture architecture has no particular pattern so you just decide to be creative in what you are doing and you see what I've done here so what you do here is that you click this Edit it. I don't want because the edge is too bogus. Edit. Edit the pro profile. So for me, I would like to delete it. Delete. So I want to draw. Okay. Trim it. So finish it. Good. So here now you click here and say edit. And this edit now, you just choose a material that you know that okay. So let me use this white bar here. I want it to be white. So click on 3D and see it here first before you proceed with your copy. Is that what you like? Yes, if it's okay by you, just go to elevation and say edit. From here, you start copy from to post so copy it from here drop it here drop it here drop it here and drop it there so check it around if it's if this one is okay it's what you've done so that's it for that. So copy this one too and drop the two on that edge. Drop it here. Drop it here. So we escape. Keep finish. Go to your 3D. So you have fantastic fencing coping match with whatsoever you want it to do. So it depends on what you want to do. You can decide to adjust this and do more. Of what we need in this space so this is what we are able to establish from this particular design today and i believe that you have gained a lot how to design some certain details so here we focus on our fencing so that is the beauty of it so you can do the same thing apply the same method to the building and so on and so forth so at this stage we are able to establish something meaningful for you so Follow us in more of our latest design and take a continual lesson. So thanks. I appreciate for everything.